Hello, anyone and everyone. I am Echo, and today we're exploring Fallout 3. In the last episode, we uh, came on over here to Old Oni, where, uh, oh, that's the second ladder we've seen now. Yeah, ladder to Old Oni. And uh, we passed another one up there to the right, and then up another ramp. There was another ladder back there. I wonder why there's two. I suppose they just go to separate sections of the area, but still, it seems a bit, seems a bit odd. Oh well. Um, one thing I wanted to point out about Old Only, that, uh, in my previous times playing this game, I never noticed, is the fact that, uh, Old Only is uh, actually very similar to another area in the uh, hmm, in the original Fallout. I don't remember what it's called, but there's an area in the in the original Fallout. It's basically just a, a section of a city that's all run down and crappy. Ooh. 44 Magnum, thank you. Yeah, it's just a section of city that's all run down and crappy, and it's filled with death claws. And it's a very hard area. Very hard area. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, doesn't this look like fun? I missed the party. Who didn't invite me? Medic Power Armor Manual. Brotherhood of Steel Holotag. We'll leave that Brotherhood of Steel Holotag there. Let's read that Medic Power Armor Manual, though. Alright. MP47-A Medic Power Armor Security Clearance G required to read this manual. Currently in prototype, the MP47-A Medic Power Armor, referred to as Medic Armor hereafter, is designed to protect the soldier in the field and serve as an automated medic. The prototype unit only has medics delivery systems. The production unit will include stim packs and other injectables. User requirements for Medic Armor stated that even a child should be able to use it without reading this manual. Therefore, an onboard computer system with verbal feedback response systems has, has been installed. The soldier in the field puts on the armor, and the armor does the rest. It automatically senses the limb condition of the soldier and applies medics only if needed. If the defense contract is extended, the onboard computer system will be enhanced to provide command level data to field officers. A special self-destruct will deliver a lethal injection to deserters. Until the contract is extended, these systems remain offline. Huh. Cool. Med prototype Medic Power Armor. Agility minus 1, round resistance plus 25, damage resistance 34... Um, but it weighs way too much for us to take. That's even if we wanted to use it, let alone... Or, I mean, that's that's if we just even wanted to sell it, let alone keep it. So, yeah. That's cool, though. Um, as it says, basically, it automatically applies uh, medics whenever your limbs become damaged. And, uh... Or... I guess more specifically, whenever your limbs become crippled, not just damaged, because that would be that would be any time you take damage. Um, kind of weird that it uh, act, that it uses uh, medics and not stim packs. I would expect that it would probably like like I've never used it before, so I don't know how it works. But I would expect that it would see that one of your limbs is broken. And then inject a stim pack to fix the broken limb, which stim packs can do from the uh, the status menu here. You click on a limb, use a stim pack, gets healed up, you know. Um, and this instead uses medics, with, which is just a, a, a buff that gives you extra damage resistance. Um, so that makes me wonder, is... Uh, Oh, yep, there's a death claw in there, alright. Whew. You know what? No, that's, uh... Let's use the bottle cap mine. And because the bottle cap mine is so strong, we won't need... 
Uh oh. It turned around. I was gonna shoot its tail to get its to get its attention. Well, I guess we can wait until it turns around again. Don't know why my, why my crosshair is red though. It's not poking out at all. <sighs> Excuse me for the yawn. But anyway, yeah. Um. So it's weird that it uses Medex, but maybe, maybe the uh, shit. Well, come on, buddy. Come on. Good job. You did good. But uh, maybe the armor has like a special, unique effect that it uses Medex, but it has the same limb restorative ability as uh, as a stim pack. You know, that's possible. I could see that being the case. Alright, anything in here? Nope, just a knife. We don't need a knife. There's a fat man on the ground. Right there. And three locked safes. Alright, let's turn off the light. Quick save and start hacking these bad boys. Or picking, I guess. Cool, money, money. Money's always good, money's always good. Another quick save, just in case we... Accidentally waste way too many of these stupid uh, bobby pins, which we need to hold on to like our lives will depend on it. And one more. Oh, oh, oh. Awesome. We didn't break a single one in all three. Fantastic. I'm the best. Just amazing. Yeah, a missile launcher and a fat man that we do not need at all. And I believe we're done, surprisingly. Obviously, we didn't uh, explore the entirety of the top area of old only yet, so we'll check that out. But, I mean, hey, we got these two different ladders for two completely different exits. So, we've got options for how we want to make our grand exit. And this just takes us out here. Okay. And uh, the other one, the other manhole cover should be in that direction. Which I think would actually leave old only. Pretty sure. It's, uh... Oh, Psycho War off. Yeah, because that's the wall right there. And uh, from judging the direction the, tun the tunnels went in, the other manhole cover should be over there. So that's, uh, that's cool, I guess. Nice little escape hatch if you just, like, wander in here by accident and somehow get past the death claws and decide you absolutely want to, uh, just leave the place. Not bother with having to fight them off. Which I wouldn't blame you for. If you didn't mean to wander in here, of course. But yeah. Still can't go in that building. Still want to look over in this corner here. And let's not walk into the the big pit again. Which I did not know was going to do that. Oh, there's another death claw outside the wall there. I thought there was supposed to be like a... Like a mother death claw here or something like that. That one's not, right? No, that's just a regular death claw. That's odd. Odd and a little bit disappointing. I was hoping for a unique death claw. I guess there are none in this game. I guess I've, I'm mixing it up with the later Fallouts, because in Fallout New Vegas, there's like uh, alpha male and alpha female death claws, as well as one. An, another type of death claw. I believe it's called a legendary death claw, but I'm, I could be, I could be mistaken. And of course, Fallout Four has like a billion different types of death claws because uh, it needs as many generically named enemies as possible to fill up its roster. And I believe. I'm not trying to click on any of these locations, game. Jesus. Yeesh. 
yeah, I believe we're all done with these, uh, with the right side of the game, with the right side of the world. Though we should probably, hmm, should probably cover these areas first. That's not, that's not the, uh, inner DC area, but that is on the right side of the map. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's do this just little, like, triangle just here, Red Racer Factory, over to here, and then, like, up to these areas here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, some of these are just metro tunnels anyways. Oh, god damn it, more metro tunnels. God damn. Well, Mama Dolce's. Hubris Comics, Mason's, oh, blah, blah, blah. Alexandria Arms. What's that? What's that? Flooded Metro? Oh, great. Red Racer Factory. And that's a Nuka-Cola plant. We won't count that in here, though. We'll say the Nuka-Cola plant's on the left side of the map, even though it's definitely not. But it's not within that little area. I think it would make more sense for me, personally, to, uh... Wilhelm's Wharf looks good. Nice and close. Yeah, it just makes more sense for me, personally, to, uh... Consider this little section here. Which, uh... Was obviously... Part of the... Greater... DC... You know, bit. I'll count it in... As the, uh, right side of the map. For the purposes of our little... Discovery quest. So we'll do this... We'll do this area... And oh look, there you go, Arlington slash Wasteland Metro. Now we just need Arlington Cemetery North, which I guess is on the other side of this building. Might have to go through the, uh, the whatchamacallit. Might have to go through the Metro Tunnel to actually get in there. We'll see, we'll see. We'll walk up here and, uh, See if we can get around the other side. If it turns out that this is another, like, uh, interior outside area, like the rest of DC, where there's actually a huge invisible wall surrounding it, and we have to go through the metro tunnels just to get in there, then I'm gonna be, like, extra pissed. Like, not just annoyed. Welcome to Grey Ditch. Yeah, we've been here already. This is where we did the. The those quest. But now it should be right over here. Hopefully. Right around this, this rough area. This general location. Oh my god, no, not again. Again with the stupid frickin' crap. Ay ay ay. Oh yay, raiders or something, whoever they are. Oh no, those are the the dudes. The cowboy dudes that hunt you down and try to kill you if you have bad karma. You you don't even need to have like evil karma. Just anything below neutral and they come after you. Just like anything above neutral, and the uh, Talon Company get hired to go after you. But there's another Metro Tunnel right there, so let's uh, walk over to it, discover the hell out of it, and see what it is on our on our map. Oh, let's also take a look upstairs, because this, this little building looks like it might have something in it. It doesn't. I was wrong. Just just my luck. Alright, jump out the window. Those guys haven't noticed us, and they're not going to. I plan on staying as far away as possible. Marigold Station. Okay. Okay, are we... Have we already discovered this? We've already discovered it. Arlington Cemetery North is all the way up there. God damn it. Alright, fine. Back to Arlington Metro, and clearly we need to actually go through here in order to... Uh, 
need to go back in through the metro tunnels to go under into the little interior area or whatever. Discover all the things. Man, if I had known there were this many metro tunnels that we hadn't gone through yet, back when I started this stupid uh, little idea of discovering every single area in the map, I would have uh, excluded metro tunnels. Like, completely. Oh, let's, uh, pop up the... Whoops. <laughs> let's pop up the local map so we can keep track of how far we've gone and everything. And I'm also not going to waste too much time looting, because this isn't even, like... This is an old area that is intended for lower-level characters to be able to come through. Drawn on by the Those quest. So... Not going to waste too much time. What the hell was that? Oh, I guess I just completely missed him. That was weird. Oh, well. Okay, moving on. Like I said, don't want to be wasting too much time in here. And it's the, the ghouls in here. Oh, Arlington Cemetery North. Or Arlington North Cemetery. Whatever it's called. So yeah, yeah, totally. Grey Ditch is on the outskirts. And there's just a goddamn generic interior area for this section of the map. Much like the main inner DC area. I didn't know that. Ugh. At least I don't remember it. Oh well. And what kind of enemies are here? Hmm? Is it, uh, super mutants? More of those ants? No, it's raiders! <laughs> I like how he looks up to the sky first. Ah. That is funny. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Damn, invisible wall. No, 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 I'm trying to shoot you in the head. Stand still. Be polite. Respect your elders. Ooh. That looks like a bit of a mess. Let's, let's take a swim. Pop on our radiation suit. Go skinny dipping. Just want to see if there's anything down here. No, there is not. Okay. Cool. Cool. Hope you enjoyed that waste of time. Let's put on some good clothes again. You never know. It looked like a at least somewhat unique little area. So I figured it was a Probably beneficial to take a peek under the water, see if there was anything cool. There wasn't. I learned my lesson. Love how random raiders can manage to find something like a Chinese officer sword. How the hell are Chinese officer swords so common? Like, in the United States. Like... Unless I'm mistaken, in the Fallout lore, Alaska was the only place that was uh, directly invaded by land forces by the Chinese. Let alone <laughs> by the frickin' officers of the Chinese army. So, those officers carrying their swords with them, supposedly, what, they just lose their swords? Oh, this is an actual cemetery. Holy crap. I've never seen this area. This is unbelievable. Did I just, like... Did I, Am I just completely confusing Fallout New Vegas with this? Because I thought 
I had gone to every area of Fallout 3, and also uh, every area in Fallout New Vegas. And I know I definitely did that with Fallout New Vegas. In fact, there's a... Uh, I think there's an achievement for discovering every area in New Vegas, but not in Fallout 3. And I think I got that achievement, though I, I could be wrong. I don't know. What the hell is this? Wish we could uh, read this gravestone here that's clearly unique because it has a flower in front of it. Like... Like, what the hell? Who put this flower here? It's the only one in the entire cemetery. And it's not dead. It's an actual colorful flower. We're not an oasis. How the hell did it get here? Fine, just go up the stairs, jeez. This is crazy. Yeah, I but I, I, I guess I'm just mixing up my memories of this game with Fallout uh, New Vegas because I know 100% without a doubt in a uh, playthrough on my own time I think we can go in that house the door doesn't look boarded up in a playthrough on my own time I have uh, with 100% certainty already gone through and ex uh, explored every area in Fallout New Vegas and I guess I was just thinking of that when I thought I had already done that with Fallout 3. But yeah, that flower is freaking confusing me. Like, talk, talk about unique things that stand out from the background. The flower's one of them. Flower is definitely one of them. Alright, I don't think there's any enemies around here. So while I'm still... While I'm still sneaking gonna leave that quick save there and I'm gonna just walk around the outskirts to try to check out the rest of this little area see if there's anything else hopefully we can find some notes or a terminal or something to that'll like give us a clue about that flower Cause, I mean seriously I'm not crazy am I I'm not crazy for thinking that a living, colorful flower put next to one and only one uh oh, what's that? What type of eggs are those? Oh, these aren't eggs at all. This is brain fungus. Never mind. Good. I was gonna say, if those were like ant eggs or something like that, then that would mean there's probably gonna be ants nearby I'm gonna have to fight. But no, it's not. Alright, can we go in here? Yes, we can! Arlington House! Alright, Arlington House. What do you have to offer me? Oh! Basement! Let's, let's avoid the basement for a moment. Basements always have the best stuff in these houses. I think that's like an RPG rule. Not even just not just Fallout. Uh-oh, over encumbered. Yeah, that's not just Fallout. That's a rule that all RPGs follow pretty much. Do you have a basement in the building? Yes. Okay, then it has all the best stuff. 100%. All right, we'll take those so we can Loosen up a little bit of, uh, stuff, and, uh, oh, we used Paulson's Revolver a bit more, so I guess no harm in, uh, repairing it. No, that would be too much of a waste. Oh, yeah, Sniper Rifle, though. Sniper Rifle, we can certainly repair that. Alright, good. There you go. That leaves us with a bit of space. And nothing going on in the bathroom. All right, let's check out that basement then. Oh wait, no, sorry. We still have the upstairs. The upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Gotta check it all. Save the basement for last. Save the best for last. 
always. Okay, nothing in there. Dart, darts, though. Take the darts. Uh, no. Uh, hockey mask. Ooh, that's a, a little unsettling, but... Just a coincidence, I'm sure. Not saying we're going to find Jason in the basement. But we might find something, so let's get our gun out. Whoa. Whoa! Okay. Well, let's lock that up. Or, I mean, unlock that. Alright. A lot of wine. A knife. A bit of blood, of course. Bobby pins. Appreciated. Pre-war relax wear. Medical brace tire iron. Random assortment of items. Okay. So we found Lincoln's Shrine, I guess. And a bobblehead. Luck. The inscription on the base reads, There's only one way to give 110%. Huh. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. How much luck does that give us? I think, I think we only had, like, two, right? Yeah, two. Tarn. Okay. And some more very easy safes. Sweet, 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 sweet. Silence 10 millimeter pistol that we could have used if we'd gotten here much earlier. Alright, and in the tool, okay, the tool cabinet's empty. Oh, and the fridge too. Okay, so I'm kind of surprised that walking down here didn't trigger like an NPC showing up or something like that and getting angry at us for uh, disturbing their Lincoln Shrine or whatever. Maybe we should actually disturb it. Maybe if we uh, knock everything over. Oh, you can only really knock over the wine bottles. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, a little surprised that nothing happened, but still, this is. God damn, this is not what I was expecting. I had heard about something like this, but I didn't. I didn't, I didn't know we were going to find it. And I, to be honest, I, I, I had heard about it, and I didn't even remember if it was in this game or if it was in Fallout 4. <laughs> I, I seriously thought it was probably in that one. Um, seems like there's words behind that right there. That's weird. Um... Yeah, there's there's like a portrait. Can we can we grab this? No, of course not. But there is definitely Lincoln's uh, drawing is part of a larger portrait, and it has words written on it. I would really love to read those words. Maybe it's just a copy of like the Gettysburg Address or something. Put the gun away. We can jump a bit higher. Oh, but the beams and everything are in the way. The ceiling's too low. I'd really like to see those. Oh, well. Alright, I guess we're not going to be able to. I don't see any way to move it. Can't, uh... Yeah, we can't grab onto it. Which, of course, is to be ex expected. It's a very large object, after all. But still, damn. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this place is cool. Very cool. And, uh... Oh, some more darts in there. That's nice. And I guess, um... I think it's a bit too presumptuous to say that the grave with the flower beside it is Lincoln's grave. But, these right here do look like 
very similar flowers to the one that were beside the grave. And f mm. I'll take another look. I'll um, take a bottle cap mine too. Thank you. Yeah, I'll take another look at the flower to make sure. But, uh. Yeah, I think the connection is pretty obvious. Maybe it is Lincoln's grave. Who knows? Anyway. Oh, well, that's all the time I have for this episode, unfortunately. I hope you all enjoyed this. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you next time. Uh, praise Lincoln. Bye bye.